Hi, how are you? So it is prom season, and I know this video might be a little late for some people. I know a lot of people have already had their proms, but mine's next week. So I want to share with you some tips and tricks to look your best on prom night. This is what I find works best for me, and hopefully you'll try out a few of these tips just to really make you stand out on prom night, make you glow, so you look like a star, a celebrity. There you go, that's all you need. So, let's go. So the first thing I do is exfoliate. The night before and or the morning of, I exfoliate my arms, my legs, basically everything, and my face. I have an exfoliating face scrub, and for my body, I'll use this, which is from Ulta. It's just their uh, Mandarin Mint body scrub, and it smells really good. Or you can use um, a loofah, or like a body scrub rag, or anything scrubby-dubby to get those skin cells off of you, and, well not all your skin cells, your dead skin cells off of you. So your skin will look super soft, and your face skin will hold your makeup really well, and it'll keep you from getting as oily when you're partying all night. Another thing I use and swear by is this Tin Skin Skincare Solution. Basically, it's like this, um, it's like this alcohol-based liquid. You put it on a cotton ball, and you put it on your skin after you've shaved, and it keeps you from getting razor bumps and redness, and just keeps your skin from being irritated after you shave. It's really good for your underarms, especially if you're wearing, you know, like a strapless dress or a sleeveless dress, which most people do wear to prom. It's really, really good for that. And it's really good for your legs or anything else that you want to shave. And for your skin after you've exfoliated, you're going to want to use a lotion. I like to use my Bird's Beads Naturally Nourishing Lotion just to make your skin soft. That's all. And so you can feel your best on prom night. I've shown this before, but I absolutely love it. It is the Sally Hansen airbrush legs spray. You just spray it on your body and it gives you this beautiful glow. It doesn't make you look weird, orange tan, doesn't look fake. It just gives you a really pretty natural looking glow. Not only does it make your skin look a little bit darker, it just makes it look brighter. But you can use it on your legs, your arms, whatever you want. It's just gonna make you look like a star. Next, if you want those pearly whites for prom, I would start this about a week before prom, but I love my 3D White Crest mouthwash. You can also use the white strips. I don't like using white strips. They just bother me for some reason, but I love this mouthwash. You just use it for like a week and you can already see a difference in the shininess and whiteness of your teeth. And it'll look super good in your prom pics. You want to also use a really nice foundation. You want a nice amount of coverage and you want something that's also not going to make you feel really oily and bogged down when you're going to be dancing and maybe getting kind of sweaty. So I suggest a CC cream. It has more coverage than a BB cream and um, less coverage than you know a foundation but it still gives you coverage. Mine's from All May. It's Smart Shade. I really love this. I just started using it and it makes my skin look so good. But it does have SPF in it and foundations with SPF in them tend to cause a reflection when flash photography is taken and it reflects back and it makes your face look pale white in flash photography. So I would suggest getting a CC cream without SPF, if that's possible. And for prom night, you cannot go without a powder. Whether it's translucent or not, mine's Glow Minerals, it's natural medium. But I would just take a big fluffy brush and kind of dust it on your face. So you don't pack it on, but it'll definitely keep you from getting shiny, especially when you're sweating, and it'll keep that matte finish on your face. Also to keep that matte finish, these are a lifesaver. They're blotting sheets. Mine are Neutrogena, and basically you just Take out a little blotting sheet. Throughout the night, if you feel like you're getting oily or kind of feel gross, just take one of these, blot it on your face, and you're gonna be good. It's gonna absorb all the oil, and I really prefer these over reapplying your powder, because when you're reapplying your powder, you're not actually taking off the oil. You're just applying powder over your oily face, and that's just gonna cake on more makeup. And you don't wanna be cakey, you want to be smooth, right? For your hair, I definitely recommend a leave-in conditioner or a serum that's really gonna make your hair look really shiny. Especially if you're using heat on your hair, you're gonna wanna use a heat protectant. That's just gonna keep your hair from getting damaged and breaking, and it's just gonna overall make your hair look smoother and shinier and much more put together. 
Prom is also a great time for bronzer. This is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I love it because it doesn't have any sparkle or shine to it. But prom is a great time to go ahead and experiment with bronzers and contouring because you can totally get away with a more dramatic look. So a lot of the time, if you're a beginner with bronzer, you're gonna wanna use the B3 method and that's when you create a B on the side of your face and a three on the side of your face. You go right under your cheekbones. If you're trying to contour, you're gonna to wanna to find the natural shadows of your face, like under your cheekbone, and just apply a little bit of bronzer. And the key is to blend, 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 so you don't end up looking like a streaky lady. That's just gonna add dimension and color to your face. And I also like to apply it to like my forehead and my temples, just to really shape my face. For your lips, I suggest using a chapstick beforehand to keep your lips from getting chapped or dry or flaky before prom. So when you put on your lipstick or lip stain, it's going to stay on way better. I love this Nivea one. A kiss of smoothness. It goes on like butter. That's kind of gross. But it totally hydrates your lips. It doesn't make them dry or anything like a lot of chapsticks can do. So there we go, maybe yeah. And also one of my favorite things about prom is that you get to play up your eyes. So I really love these little lashes. It's not like you're committing to a whole big lash. And those can often look kind of fake and almost dollish and you can tell that you're wearing them a lot of the time. But with these, they look really natural. You just put them on one at a time wherever you wanna place them. And they're these teeny tiny lashes and they really make your lashes look totally fuller and longer. I'm wearing them right now, actually. Can you tell? They just look so natural and I am obsessed with them. And to further play up your lashes, I like to use an eyelash curler just to totally make your eyes pop out of your face. Not literally. And it really does make a difference in your lashes. It just makes your eyes look whiter and awake and open. So I'm gonna show you the difference right now. I'm gonna curl these. Hold it for like six seconds. Then look at the difference between these and these. There's a big difference. So those are all of my tips for prom and looking your absolute best. I really hope that you try some of these and that I could help you out just a little bit. Totally feel free to tell me what you like to do for prom. Maybe you could give me some advice on how to look my best. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.